Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Welcome to your English session. It's great to see you around. Sorry again for the delay. The internet is very slow. And when I do the, the migration from one class to, to your class, it takes like two or three minutes. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm happy to see you on this rainy, humid, and very fresh day and, 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 and very relaxing evening. Um, how are you? Are we ready to start? Did you have a good day? Anything new? Welcome, Noe Vasquez. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Uh, good evening. Uh, good, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm a pleasure to uh, start uh, the class this, this night. Absolutely. Welcome, Miss Gilma Alfres. Hello there, lady. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Not better than you. Not better than you. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, Miss Mercy Viera. Hello, lady. It's a pleasure to see you around. How are you tonight? Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Fine. Thank you. I am. Uh, 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 I know. Preparada <laughs> to. You're to prepared. You're prepare, ready. Prepare for the class. Ooh, I like that. You are prepared for your English prepared. class. You are ready. 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 <laughs> I am ready, teacher. I am ready to learn to improve all my English skills. All right. Happy. Yes. I'm happy to see you. Let's see. Teacher. Let's yes, sir. Teacher. Uh, thank you for this exercise that I read and, oh. and uh, saying in uh, group, uh, WhatsApp. Yes, the links that I sent you to the WhatsApp chat uh, was for you to practice, for practicing purposes. So I'm happy you check it out. I'm happy you watch the videos and you did the exercises for your practice. Teacher, I am not in the uh, group to the WhatsApp. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm. Let me take that into account right now, Mercy. I'm very sorry about that. Mercy. Mercy Viera. What is your phone number, Mercy? 75 <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I have <laughs> seven five zero nine. One. I have I have seven five zero nine. Zero nine one five six two. Okay. Seven nine. I'm sorry, seven five zero nine one five six two. <laughs> Oh, okay, you will be at it, Miss. You will be at it for sure. All right, all right. Uh, Susana Caroline, welcome, Miss Paula. How you how you doing tonight? Teacher. Hi. I'm okay. You sure? Yes. Mm, you don't sound like you sound sad. Are you okay? Okay, hopefully you're fine. Okay, let me say welcome yeah. to Maria Siguenza. Hello, Miss Siguenza. How are you doing tonight? Are we ready? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today, lady? Hi, I am working. You're at work. It's true. It's true. I'm sorry, Miss. But <laughs> let's try to participate a little bit. Okay. Okay, thank you. Carla Marino. Hello, Miss Carla. How you doing over there? Hello, 
Is it raining where you are now? Good evening, teacher. No, no, don't, it doesn't it is raining. It's no. not. It's not? It's not. It's not raining. It's not raining. Okay. It's not raining now. What do you mean? It, it finished raining already? Yes, yes. Only I am cold. You're cold, nice. That's why I'm wearing a sweater today. You know, I'm very cold over there. It's yes, been raining. I, I the am sweater day. and socks too. <laughs> so you're wearing yes. socks? Yes. Well, yes. but how do you like this weather? How do you like it? Um, more or less. More or less. More or less. Because, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fortunately, in El Salvador, we have tropical weather. So sometimes we experience very hot weather and sometimes we experience cold weather or, or rainy weather even. So it's cool. I like it. Let me uh, say welcome to Isa Ortiz. Hello, Miss Isa Ortiz. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing? I am very fine. I'm. Mm, how do you say poco? A little. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit tired. A little bit tired. So you have energies for your English class, huh? Ah, uh, see, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> of course, of course. All right, <laughs> Jaime has some um, internet connections. He says, so let me see, uh, Brian Ariel, can you hear me? All right. Well, guys, I'm very happy to tell you this is the last, um, almost the last classes uh, we're going through. And we we'll almost finished this module. So I'm very excited. I'm very happy for you. You are learning more English. All right. So let me share my screen. Can you visualize it now? Not teacher. I can see. You can? Yes. 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 Okay. Let me get to the right screen because for some reason it went back. You know. Being like this back advantages, I think. Let me double check. So the last topic we saw uh, was about comparatives and superlatives. So we finished that topic already. Now let's check. 4.13, okay. So now my internet is working very slow. Yes, I knew. I knew. Sé que me había adelantado. Es que se, como que se cambia de, de class. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry about this. This is our topic. Questions of choice. Okay. This is our topic today. Questions of, here we go. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Okay. Can you try that? Can you try that pronunciation and intonation? Can you try? Okay. Which city, Which is, city bigger? is bigger? Bangkok, Bangkok or, Beirut? or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting. interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Check. Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Which Greece? Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Korea Brazil, Brazil, or Greece? Or Greece. Can you repeat? Guys, it's very important you play with your intonation, okay? Your intonation allows you 
to sound more uh, comprehensive. Uh, so the other people listening to your speech can understand you easily and effectively. So try this pronunciation, okay? Try, okay? For example, which, which city is more beautiful? Paris or Bogota? Paris. Okay, so Paris is more beautiful than Bogota. But you see the, the intonation, which city is more beautiful? Okay, can you try to make one question with this, um, with this type of pronunciation? Can you try? Which city is more beautiful, Paris or Bogota? Which city is more beautiful, Paris or Bogota? All right. Good, I like it, I like it. All right, somebody has a different question with pronunciation like this. Can you try? Um, which flowers is the most beautiful, rose or car carnation? Okay, which flowers? Are the most, More, are the most beautiful. Ah, pero usted dice la más, la más, el superlativo, right? Mm -hmm. The most the beautiful. Most beautiful. Rose or carnation. Rose Carnat or, or carnation. Solo que ahí suena como que las estamos comparando, porque estamos dando mm -hmm. dos opciones. Si es superlativo, ah, okay. demos al menos unas tres. Por ejemplo, rose, carnation, eh, uh, or violets. Uh -huh. okay. Can you repeat? Which flowers are the most beautiful? Rose, carnation, or violet? violet? Wow, oh, all right, right, all right. You puedo decir, uh, I think violets are the most beautiful of the three, right? I can say yes. a rose, uh, roses are, are the most beautiful of the three. Right, it's superlative. Thank you for the superlative question, Miss Mercy. All right, um, let's move on. Let me share my screen one more time. Move on. Okay, so remember intonation, pronunciation, it's really important. Okay, now my computer is acting out. Give me one second. Here we go again. Right there. Okay, so next objective. Next objective. Questions with how. Distance and measurements. Distance and Hi, I want you to be talking about. Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. The highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Talking about distance and measurements using the question word how. Okay, so when we're talking about distance and measurements, we actually use the um, especially if it's about distance, if it's about measurements. Uh, let's check on this conversation, this type of questions. Okay, this is like an introduction for you. It says, it, Scott says, really, how high are the mountains? Repeat, how, how high are the mountains? How high? How high? Get tan altas. How high are the mountains? How far? What is how far? How far is New Zealand from Australia? Get tan lejos. Get tan distante. How far? Yes? How far? How far? Yes. So practically when you make a, a how question you use an adjective how far how expensive 
for example, how expensive is life in El Salvador? It's more expensive. It's very expensive. Okay. How expensive? How difficult? How easy? <clears throat> okay. How high? How far? Okay. So you have any question from this conversation? Damaris, okay, Damaris. Thank you. Okay, so how far is Guatemala from El Salvador? Repeat, please, teacher. Yes, how far is Guatemala from El Salvador? How far, ¿qué tan lejos? How far is Guatemala from El Salvador? It's not that far, it's, teacher. It's not very far. It's not that far. Thank you very well. Only uh, the travel uh, one hour. You only travel for one hour, okay? You only travel for one or two hours maybe, thank you. Questions with how, okay? Can you make a question with how? How far is your job? How far is your job? Excellent. How far is your job? How far is your job? I can use tall teacher. How fast? How is more? No, because it's comparative. Um, you only need to use the adjective itself. No comparative, no superlative. You put how and you put the adjective. For example, how delicious, how good. How, how tall? Cheap, how tall, for example, how tall are you? How tall are you? Okay. Do you understand how tall are you? Yes. So tell me, how tall are you? I, I am very small. <laughs> For... <laughs> short. Say short. short. I am very short. <laughs> okay, so you're chaparrita, huh? You're very Chapar. short. <laughs> you're very short. How tall are you? Okay. Paciente, patient. How patient are you? Cortez, polite. How polite. Professional, professional. How professional are you? How uh, helpful? Yes. How delicious? Okay. Can we make one more question with how, please? How delicious is the Mexican food? Okay, how delicious is Mexican food? Is, is Mexican food? Opinion, guys, how delicious is Mexican food? It's very delicious. It's very delicious. It's very yummy, yeah. yummy, huh? <laughs> and I like it because it has a, a big variety of options like gringas, like burritos, tacos, Mexican tortas. So there's a, a lot of, plenty of options, you know? Teacher. Yes, sir. How important is to study English? Ooh, that's a beautiful question. How important? How important is for you study English? It's I'm very a, important. Uh -huh, Susana, it's very important. Why? Why is very why is it very important? Why? Give me why a reason. Why the 
<laughs> Why the English open door? <laughs> because, because. I use almost because. Because the English <laughs> when open you learn door. English when you say when you learn. When you learn English. English. There are. There are. Many doors open. Many doors open. Yes, because when you learn English, when you speak English, when you become bilingual, many doors get open. There are many opportunities. How important is for you this class? How important is for you this class? It's very important because I learn English. Yes, because you learn English, you get to you get to practice with other people with the same level that you have. And practice pronunciation. And you get to practice and improve your pronunciation. Yes, your understanding and listening and speaking skills. All right. Yes, sir. It's very important because I learn new words every day in the class. Yes, because you expand, you expand your knowledge, your vocabulary. You become more knowledgeable, more and more knowledgeable. So that's a very big advantage. Special, special. How special is your family? How special is your family? My family is very special for me. Uh-huh. But why? Give me a reason. Give me a solid, a valid reason because a how question. How question te está pidiendo bastante información. Es poderosa esa pregunta. Right? So how special is your family? I need a, 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 a big um, statement. Necesito una oración ahí sólida, right? Una razón real, a real reason, a true reason, a valid reason. Uh, well, well, usemos well. My family well. is so special because, yes? My family is special because they give me a motivation. Correct, because they give me motivation. They motivate my life. Why else? Teacher? Go ahead. My family is very special. Because we enjoy it together. Correct. Because we enjoy together. We enjoy our time together. We enjoy our company. All right. So thank you for your participation. Remember how questions, how questions. Okay. How how happy are you guys? How happy are you? Uh -huh. How happy are you every day? I... Do you understand the question? How happy are you every day? ¿Qué los hace felices en el día? Uh -uh. No. It's not what, no. it's how. It's how. No. Y cuando van a un adjetivo es qué tan, right? Mm. How responsible are you at work? How responsible are you at work? I am very responsible. Uh -huh. Expand it, expand it. Because... I need more information, Carlos. I need more information. Yeah, it's very important because, uh, you know, 
Give me, give me, give me more information. Okay. Give me more information. I, uh, <clears throat> I am very... very. Okay, let's finish with Juan Carlos. How responsible are you at work? I am very responsible because I complete, because today I complete my, how do you say, tareas? Back on work. Duties. Duties. Tus deberes en el trabajo. Excellent. Mm. Esa es la respuesta que necesito. Long and expanded. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. ¿Por qué? Porque how? It's a big question. No pueden responder con algo cortito. You need a solid sentence. All right. Uh -huh. how, how friendly are you? How friendly are you? I am very friendly because I work with the people in my work. <laughs> we are having great communication right now. I love it. You work with people. You have to yeah. be friendly. I understand clearly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody else? I am, I am very friendly in my network. In my oh, teacher. oh yeah why is that why is that I don't understand why is that why is that Okay. So I hope I hope this topic is kind of clear, okay? We need to move forward. We need to continue. Okay. All right. So participate with the next topic questions with how we're going to kind of clarify that for you. Here we go. There are many questions we can ask with how. Measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way, plus complement, plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how, and right after it, we have far. Far is an adjective. How big, big is Remember, an adjective. Remember, how plus adjective plus verb, plus complement. How big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, how cold. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? Okay, how big is El Salvador? 
What do you think? How big is El Salvador? It's no more big, it's little. It's not very big. Okay, si queremos ser generalistas, right? It's not very big, it's small. It's not very big. It's not very big, it's very small. It's very small. Podríamos dar like a specific information, right? Like if you go to Google and you check, right? For example, how big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, right? Ahorita podrían ir ustedes a Google, you can Google it, right? And you can check how big is El Salvador. Can you check how big is El Salvador? Can you go to Google and Google that for me? How big is El Salvador? El Salvador have 2,141 kilometers. 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 Yeah, it's okay. um, square kilometers, yes? Kilometros yes. cuadrados, right? Yes. Square kilometers. Very square well. Kilometers. Square kilometers. So this is how you be in a specific, right? This is how you be a specific. Okay. Singular. Here. here. Ready to how big Okay, how tall are you? How tall are you guys? I am very short. I'm measure, measure one one. Uh, 15, uh, I don't know, centimeter. <laughs> centimeters. Cent centimeter, centimeters. 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 Nice. Nice. Bueno, ahí podemos dar una respuesta general, like I am very tall, I am medium height, or I am short. O podemos dar específico, como si ustedes saben cuál es su medida, what's your measure exactly. Oh, okay. Um, I am, right? I am 1.69, right? Etc. So how tall are you? Can you give me an answer? How tall are you? Who knows? How tall are you? How tall are you? I am taller. I am 1.70. Wow. 1.70. Okay, so you are tall. You are tall. Yes. Okay, I am 1.68, I think. 1.68. Mm, okay. So who is taller, guys? Okay. Who is taller? Carla or teacher Caleb? Carla. Carla. Carla is taller than teacher Caleb, yes. That is correct. Okay, let's go to the next question. Let's check what the next question is. Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we okay. always ask you. Which one is the longest river in El Salvador? El Lempa. <laughs> Lempa River? Okay. Lempa River. The Lempa River. Is the? Lempa Long River. Longest. Is the longest in El Salvador? El Salvador. All right. Very well. Nice job. Nice job, people. Very nice job. You make sure to complete this knowledge check. That is totally um, up to you to do it ASAP. And this way we could move to the next topic. Let me, uh, let's see. Future plans. Making plans. Oh, I like this. Making plans. Future plans with, look, future with, future with, present continuous. Yes. Yes. And be going to. So we're gonna learn two ways to speak about the future. Guys, remember, two ways to talk about the future. You can use the present continuous 
or be going to. Remember that, okay? Let's go now over the video. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation with the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what do you do? But I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Sounds great. Okay, check on this conversation. The first question, Lynn says, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Repeat, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing, what are you doing tonight? tonight? Are you doing tonight? Is that is that um, present continuous or is be going to? Be going to. Be going to. Nope. Don't start going. It's present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. What are you doing? Solo. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Right. Pero la palabra mm. tonight. ¿Qué hace la palabra tonight? It makes it future. Okay. What are you doing? Tonight. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Esta noche. Yeah. So remember, we had, we could use present continuous and be going to. Next, next, next. Let me see. Miguel says, I can't. I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Can you repeat that? I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Excellent. Is that present continuous or is B going to? Be going to. Be going to. Correcto. B está en I am going to, going to, a soccer match. Entonces ese es futuro con el going to. Next, next, next. Miguel asks a question. Miguel asks, are you doing anything tomorrow? Is that present continuous or is present B going to? Present continuous. Ooh, present continuous. Porque puedo usar ambos. Siempre y cuando use mm -hmm. las correctas time expressions. Ahí la expresión mágica, ¿cuál es? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow is a time expression del futuro, right? Tomorrow. Next. Len says, tomorrow? Sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. Repeat. I'm going to work going until five. To work. I'm going to work on five. Is that present continuous or is B going to? Going to. It's B going to. That's right. Future. Seguro, right? I'm going to work until five. Okay. Es un futuro seguro. Okay. Let me see what else. That's it. Do you have any questions so far? Nope, so far so good. Let's okay. practice the conversation, okay? Let's practice the conversation. Um, teacher Kalev is going to interpret Lynn's role and my students, you will interpret Miguel's role. Ready? Ready. Ready. Say, guys, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love I but I can't. I can't. I'm going to soccer match with my brother. brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. How did you do it? How did you do it? Tomorrow? Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So, so let's go right. Okay. Afterward, maybe 